Today's first objective is repairing a pipe under this massive oak tree. The first two tools I usually take out to do something like this are my reciprocating saw and a shovel because I'm gonna use this as like a little jackhammer to knock away some of the rocks and cut away some of the roots obviously and then use this to dig away at the leak. You can see the white sand there. That's how we know that there's water leaking out in this area because that white sand is lighter than the darker sand around it. That's how we can tell there's a leak here. Not just that, when we turn the system on, all the water comes out right there and the rest of the zone doesn't have pressure. Without further ado, let's go ahead and dig this puppy up. All right, so we've freed the head that was in here and it was kind of coiled like this, but going underneath this pretty massive root here. The connection we need to get to, judging by the fact that this was sitting right here, is somewhere in this little hole right here. I haven't figured it out yet. Oh, wait, hang on a second. There's the little nub right there. All right, now I gotta figure out how I'm gonna surgically remove that to get a new one in. Oh, wait a minute. This could be broken further down than this because that pipe comes up and there's water in the hole right there. Further investigation is needed. All right, let's hack away. All right, let's go wreck some stuff. Hopefully not actually, but we'll see what happens. It's not budging. Oh no. All right, well, probably need to cut it in a couple more spots, but I really don't wanna hit my fittings here. Knock this rock loose, knock another rock loose. After a, another blade change and a few more precise cuts, I think we got the root that we needed to get loose out of our way. Thankfully, now we can see the pipe we need to fix. And let's just pray the only problem here was the funny pipe elbow, because if it's more than that, we're gonna have to dig it up a little bit further. But at least now we've got a clear path to the funny pipe elbow. We can go ahead and unscrew this, screw another one on, turn the system on. Upon further review, it's definitely broken on the pipe. We're gonna have to cut away at the roots on this side, a little bit on this side, so we can get to the pipe enough to make a repair. It was almost easy, not this time. All right, so here's our current situation. We got it cleaned up on this side over here. Now I'm gonna have to chip away at this side over here. And my trusty reciprocating saw that you guys all saw me use to bore a pipe through a sidewalk a long, long time ago seems to have stopped allowing the blade to be released. That's gonna suck. All right, we're finally at a point where we can repair this. We're going to go ahead and remove the broken piece out of the way and we're going to go ahead and cut it clean here and here. We're going to 90 out with both of these. I'll get a head T in there so we can put the head back. And there she is, all fixed. Even though it looks a little wonky, the other option here would have been to pick up this three-quarter pipe from over here and reroute it away from this tree and possibly go under the, the uh, walkway here to reattach. That wasn't in the customer's budget. They wanted the pipe fixed so that the rest of the zone would still operate and not flood out the front yard. Sprinkler Dude 1, three foot wide tree, zero.